The Republic of Cape Verde is an archipelago of 10 volcanic islands, located 600 kilometers off the West African coast in the tropical Northeast Atlantic Ocean. The islands are the tips of steep, mostly extinct volcanoes, rising from the ocean floor at 4,000 meters depth. For many years, scientists from Geomar Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research, Kiel, have been conducting ocean and atmospheric research in this area, addressing a broad variety of research questions, such as expanding oxygen minimum zones, changes in marine biodiversity, or volcanic processes at the sea floor. Dozens of expeditions have been carried out by Geomar scientists around the Cape Verde Islands. We were looking for a place in the tropics to really do the kind of research we want to do. Cape Verde is a, is a very exciting uh, location for marine but also for atmospheric science. Modern marine and atmospheric research, particularly in developing countries, also requires reliable partners and infrastructure. In the West African region, Cape Verde was found to be the perfect location. Cape Verde really stood out as a small but very ambitious and uh, very democratic and stable country. Back in 2004, a first international workshop in Cape Verde was organized by the National Institute for Fisheries Development, the INDP, and GEOMAR, launching the cooperation between the two institutions. Only two years later, an ocean time series station, the Cape Verde Ocean Observatory, was established. Long-term observations are of extremely high value as they represent one of the most valuable sources for scientists. Only through long-term observations are scientists able to characterize and quantify ocean change. The, the, the countries here in Western Africa, they, they mostly rely on the fisheries. The question is how much these these cl um, climate change stressors are affecting the state of the ecosystem here in West Africa. The Cape Verde Ocean Observatory has an atmospheric counterpart, the Cape Verde Atmospheric Observatory, that was set up in the same year. Since then, and through these tandem stations, it is possible to do oceanic and atmospheric observations in concert. The sustainability of the observatories critically depends on the development of a modern and versatile local research infrastructure. When we start with the, the observatory, only with the observatory, I think we, we introduce Cabo Verde in the map of oceanography. Therefore, the establishment of a scientific network and the setting up of a modern research base were the next steps. The idea for the Ocean Science Centre Mindelo was born. For many of these years, it rather seemed like a dream, but not a reality to, to become true, uh, uh, really. After an intense planning phase from mid-June 2012 to the end of 2014, Construction was started, and after two and a half years, the building has now been completed. Well, the completion of the Ocean Science Center Medelo, of course, is a relief, uh, and it's a, it's a very great story for us. The OSCM is equipped with modern laboratories, office space, seminar rooms, and workshops. A central element of the building is a drive-through hall in which large marine scientific equipment such as deep-sea robots and our manned submersible can be handled and maintained. Geomar scientist Dr. Björn Fiedler has been working at Cape Verde for the past 10 years using high-tech scientific equipment. It's often the case that, that some things break and uh, some things stopped working and we don't know why and often in the past we had to send back our instruments and now in, uh, with having these facilities now in Mendelo we are much more flexible. One recent project in the area is the deployment of an underwater camera system called Pelagios. With the help of the ship towed system, Geomar scientist Dr. Henk Jan Hoving wants to get an idea of the animals that live in the still largely unexplored deep oceans using an innovative camera system. So we want to explore the environment beneath 1,000 meters. 
So the bathy pelagic zone is the, the region below between 1,000 and 4,000 meters. And this is really the largest habitat on the planet. But which research interests are of importance for the people from Cape Verde? Traditionally, through INDP, research focused in particular on regional fisheries. But due to the recent developments, local scientists are expanding their focus towards biodiversity research, oxygen minimum zones, or research questions related to climate change. If we look around, we just see the Atlantic. So we can say it's our home. So please, we have to take care of it. The nation of the Republic of Cape Verde is developing fast and it has made all its marine affairs to a central issue of its policy. Here in particular, the nation needs and seeks international partners. And I'm really confident that uh, we will not only work with INDP in the future, but also with the University here of Cabo Verde. Without the fruitful cooperation between the partners, the extensive fieldwork would not have been possible. Speaking for the past and the future, INDP scientists have been providing great support for conducting successful campaigns. Through capacity building, all partners are now operating on the same level. Well, for a scientist interested in working in the region, the Ocean Science Centre Mendelo not only provides infrastructure, but also provides people to talk to. People to meet, people which have uh, expertises, uh, have done a lot of research in cooperation uh, with Geomar. And I hope that this building, this centre, the Ocean Science Centre Mindelo, will develop into a science hub, a marine science hub in the Western and for the Western African region.